for the last few week i've been working on a project building a neural network from scratch so what is a neural network right here so basically neural network means when you are going to process a data in a way that can mimic human brain so basically that is what called neural network so why i'm doing this project so you know when you are learning a new program language you start with the basic hello world and in machine learning and deep learning the classic project is number recognition system okay so first of all in this video i'm going to pronounce so many technical words so if you guys are new in this field so don't watch this video because you are going to just confuse yourself and uh, i'm not going to explain the whole code i'm just going to document myself like how i created what things i use and all the resources are linked in description you guys can watch that i'm just documenting this project i'm not going to explain everything okay so let's start coding basically i'm going to use jupyter notebook why jupyter notebook because it's just easier to code in jupyter notebook so yeah so basically first of all i have to import a few libraries because i'm going to create a neural network from scratch so i'm not going to use tensorflow or any kind of frameworks so i'm going to use numpy for uh, doing the mathematical things pandas library for uh, data analyzing matplotlib for data representation import numpy as np pandas as pd matplotlib as plt i think so these are the three libraries i'm going to use in this project so yeah let's go basically i divided my videos into several parts like how i'm going to explain you guys so yeah okay so in here i'm going to make a variable name and data uh, i'm going to read out data set okay okay so the link in like description you can get the data set from there there is basically i think two data sets i'm going to use the training data set because first of all i'm going to train the data and okay so let's run it and yeah let's go okay so let's show our data that uh, i'm using which is called i think data dot uh i think head or something i'm not sure oh, oh yeah like so so basically let me explain you something about my data so i'm using a mist data set which is has like 28 multiplied by 28 pixels and which is 784 and here it is you can see the 783 pixels so here the data sets i'm using okay so basically let fix our data basically by the way i'm not going to use a uh, pandas library i'm going to use numpy array because it's just much easier to do some things i mean some like a uh, linear algebra so yeah basically let's just like divide our data sets into two things first of all it dividing us so the first of all is like a dev data set and the other one is training data set so i'm going to use first 1000 and dot t what is the meaning of t t means it's mean i think translucent so basically it's just like convert the columns into rows and rows into columns what is the so I set my data like what I'm going to use, how much I'm going to use and the main code start here. Okay, so now we're going to initialize our parameters. So let's go and create a def function. Def parameters. Okay, so now we're going to use weights and bias. If you don't know what is weights and bias, you can like watch those videos like a link in the description. Okay, so we want like between 10 and 784 and then we want to minus 0.5 okay so basically why i'm doing this basically i want value between 0 and 1 we don't want value above uh, 1 or something like that so let's run yeah so our parameters are set okay so now we are going to add forward propagation what is forward propagation is basically right here you can see what is the meaning of this basically let me explain you then also a little bit this is basically going to calculate our activation of our neural network let's add our forward propagation let's create another depth function name forward propagation and also we want like these value in here like the weights and bias and i'm taking another variable which is x which i'm going to define in this function okay so now we are going to add a activation function linear activation function in here if the graph is going this and this is going this like this is our neural network the straight line and this is a relu activation function relu yeah this is goes like this it it just literally match with the our data like literally it's just like adapt it but it's not a fully corrected one but yeah 
we are going to use a relu function like the relu activation function so let's uh, create another def function okay so you can like see the equations right here i'm going to, like i'm using in this video and we are going to use another activation function which is soft max function so let's also create another def function with equation there def and let's just simply return all those things and let's run let's hope for the first yeah we didn't get any error so it's like going good so far okay so now what are we going to do is basically create our derivatives of ReLU ReLU or whatever that is so basically what this thing is going to do is will really give us true and false value and which is converted into zeros and ones so let's do let's do def less than a zero so yeah this is our derivatives of ReLU okay so now we are going to create another def function which is one hot code basically what this is going to do derivatives of relu is going to give us zeros and one and this is going to convert this as a matrix i think i'm also not sure because uh, i just watched a video like he just explaining very well so i just picked from there so now we're going to do backward propagation so what is backward propagation so backward propagation means it's just going to like uh, calculate the loss of our each layers i mean i think here you can see the equation and things I'm, I'm going to use okay so this was the whole the backward propagation i think if i'm not wrong uh, let's check uh, uh, yeah i think it's going to run yeah it is going to simply run yeah it is done okay so now we have to update our parameters so let's update let's run it oh yeah it's done okay so now what i'm going to do is basically add gradient descendant what is gradient descendant is basically a algorithm which is used to train our data so let's go and train a model no errors no errors no errors no errors no errors yeah no errors so now is the time to train our data are you guys ready let's go start with 0 0.10 comma i think 500 on 500 let's go who oh, oh let's hope for the best it should run and if it didn't then um, i don't know what is happening oh, oh. it's running oh oh my god yeah i mean it was my first try i mean not technically first try. it was actually my second or third try you can say but yeah i mean it's good 98 what the hell Eight percent accuracy. Ah, ninety-eight for zero point nine percent. I don't know. Okay, let's run it one more again. Okay, it's run. It's done. It's also done. It's also done. 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 Nothing. Okay. Why? Okay. I think. What is happening? What is accuracy? I mean, is I'm getting 90 something percent is my accuracy or something else? Why the hell I'm why the hell I'm getting 9.8 percent accuracy? I mean, it's literally 9 percent accuracy I'm getting. Uh, what is happening? I mean, okay, so now I just changed the all values. I mean, okay, so basically in here I'm just using uh, a small b. I mean. I was not using this capital B so I mean those are the like few remember these things I mean okay let's run let's hope for the best <gasps> no man what is the problem what what the hell what the hell what is the fuck is this not defined okay run all first of all uh, run all yes run okay sorry run all run all let's hope for the best <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Ah. Look, look, look. 71%. On that time, on the like first try, I was getting around uh, 9 point accuracy. <laughs> no, 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 no. <sighs> my equations are right, I mean. The only one problem was on my that thing. Oh, what is that called? Uh, my like variable i mean i'm just taking some wrong variables the capital b 
small b like capital b one b two like bias and weights 85 percent of accuracy <laughs> okay so now the only one thing was left is basically test prediction and let's do it okay so here we go the test prediction here's the, the first prediction okay 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 now one more time the value orders one more time we have to like ah uh, i think i'm recording man it's more than 37 minutes i will like doing okay look at those things okay so the our prediction is nine and the label value is also nine yeah it's right one one yeah one one yeah seven okay this was the wrong value because that's the reason i'm getting 82 percent like who's the fuck is this going to do like this is a two like it's just literally look like seven i mean minor difference okay it's a four but a level is six yeah okay oh is this even looking like six i mean my handwriting is worse than this though okay yeah so yeah this in this project i'm not going to make this kind of videos because it's just a boring fucking video and i literally don't like this kind of video okay yeah. by the way my semester is coming after two months so yeah i'm not going to upload for a few months like if i'm going to upload then also i'm going to upload like a low effort video so yeah this was the today's video i hope you guys like this video like comments i have all things i do bye bye peace out